Hello, Marcus here from m1fitness.com. I want to talk a little bit about shoes and what you should look out for when you're getting a pair of everyday shoes or just a pair of workout shoes. So what we're after is something nice and flat. I'm not affiliated with New Balance, but uh, these are just great shoes. I love them. So something nice and flat at the bottom. It doesn't have a lift off that back, so my heel is not going to be raised like it would in a standard uh, women's heel, for example. So my foot's going to stay nice and flat to the ground. Ideally, we want to get as close to uh, kind of barefoot as possible. So my toes have got some room to move around here. My foot's nice and flat and I'm not shortening that uh, Achilles tendon or calf with uh, a heel, a positive heel shoe. So this guy's nice and flat. It's super minimal, really light. Um, highly recommend uh, the flat shoe New Balance. If you wanna go for a cheaper option, just a standard Chuck Taylor uh, shoe, really flat. It's got lift, but it's not slanted. So it's a, it's a flat lift all the way across. This, this is a flat shoe, it's a little bit heavier, but still we can see super easily uh, bendable and super comfy too. These guys are really cheap and you can find them in tons of different colors and they're all over the place. So this is an example of a shoe that has got lift on it. So I'm gonna be you know, in that heel, positive heel position, which we don't wanna be in. I mean, if you're gonna wear a heel or a shoe, positive heel shoe, you know, sometimes it's not the end of the world. You just don't want to be wearing them all day, every day. That's a, that's a bad idea. If you're a woman and you're more comfortable in a positive heel shoe than you are in a flat shoe, there's an issue. So you want to slowly get your foot accustomed to coming back to flat. So you've got a nice healthy arch and uh, you can get as close to the way your foot is meant to be ideally barefoot um, all day. So your toes get crammed in those heels. It shortens out that, uh, that Achilles, the heel cord there and the calf because it's just in that slanted position there. We wanna bring it back to flat. So you're probably, it's gonna be a process of just kind of lowering that heel, getting something that's a little bit uh, last say going from three inches to maybe two and a half for a bit a week or two then down to two You know one and a half one and then eventually a flat shoe now I know women have to wear heels sometimes and you know it is what it is if you have to do it for work or whatever but as soon as you're off work or even sitting at your desk pop those things off and uh, Let your feet just be flat. So if you're sitting at your desk, there's no point in keeping your heel um heel tight in that you know elevated position and your calf so pop those things off and uh, spend as little time as possible wearing that positive heel shoe so if you have any questions uh, post them in the comment section below and thanks for watching see ya